I was recently scrolling on TikTok and I saw this and I was like, that is the most amazing bookshelf I've ever seen. And when I looked a bit closely, I was like, I reckon I can make that. I reckon I can. There's no instructions and I have no idea how to do it. And I, I look, I can't really say I've done much handyman stuff around this house other than hang a Lego artwork and no, that's about it. That's that's the extent of my DIYs in this place. So this is gonna be fun. Because this is a custom bookshelf for custom books, it's made to measure. I wanted to use some really meaningful books. Now I love Banksy, so I've got a Banksy book in there. Um, I love Naked Men, so there's this book full of naked men in there. I've also got a book of Annie Leibowitz's photography, uh, and I've got a book on gardening, because I love, gar God, I love gardening so much. And then I've got this really shitty book that some asshole wrote. It's terrible. You should buy it, because I think sales aren't doing so well. Once I had all my books measured, it was time to go to Bunnings and buy the plywood. I'd never done this before. Look at me. Look at me try. Oof. You can really tell I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just pretending for the camera. Yep, I'll just carry this around here. That, that looks right about right. I ended up finding out Bunnings will actually cut them to size. So I got them to trim down the plywood and then I obviously have to do the fancy cuts. So I bought a spinning saw thing, some saw horses. Look at my car. Look at me go. And then I set it all up. Um, did some quick measurements and I traced out where I wanted to cut out on the different pieces of plywood. Once I was confident and I knew what I had to cut out, I gave Dad a quick call. I just need some help before I embark on a project that I think is going to injure me. Um, Okay. You're not abseiling, mate. Look what I bought. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> well, that's going to kill you. Okay, the guard should rise up automatically. Right. On its last little bit of travel, it might get a little bit stiff. <laughs> what you really need is once you've done one cut, okay, you really need to have a clamp. I oh, see how you've got that clamp there. Oh, I've got more clamps. Do you want me to put a clamp okay. on that? So when you've cut that cut, you clamp where the cut is, right? okay? So the bit doesn't fall oh. down. Once you've got to that point, the guard should be up so you don't have to worry about holding it. Uh -huh. And you just, just steady that piece of timber and you run the saw through and you hold it still. You take the finger off the trigger. You let it, you let it idle down to nothing and then you take the saw out. And uh, give us a ring back in a couple of hours <laughs> if you can still have enough fingers to use the Yeah, button. yeah, okay. All right, thanks, Dad. Good luck, mate. Thank you. Bye. 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 My favourite part of my conversation with Dad is he knows how absolutely useless I am. And 10 minutes after I called him, he called me back to be like, are you OK? Do you get a first aid kit. <laughs> But um, I decided that I also wanted a practical hands-on lesson, so I called my uh, most handiest of lesbian friends, Trudy, to talk me through exactly what I needed to do. I did it! Yeah! Stop it. You just witnessed me use a circular saw, which is what that thing is called, I learnt, for the first time. Oh, I feel so accomplished. And look how hot and sexy I am. Here's some more shots. This is how do carpenters do this? I'm so exhausted. You've cut three pieces. Cut. <laughs> okay, okay, and cutting. I just can't believe it looks so good. So I propped it up and I put the books in just to sort of 
make sure that it was actually going to work. And look at this. It absolutely works. Look how amazing it is. I'm so excited now. I have to glue the pieces together and obviously... I had to clean up the enormous mess that I made. There's something really quite ASMR about watching someone vacuum in five times the speed. So I glued the pieces together um, and clamped them and let them sit overnight and then I basically screwed them. So I glued the individual book chunks of plywood and now I ordered them in the order that I want and um, I'm screwing them all together just to make sure that they don't unfall apart. I don't know. I, someone told me I should screw them as well. So I'm screwing them together. Then I decided that I wanted two of the full pieces of plywood on the side just to tie it all together to make it look fancy. Look at that. Um, and I threw the books in to give them one last little test, make sure everything looked good before I put those ends on. I'm not going to lie. I cannot believe it. I am, I am Da Vinci of furniture. As I was gluing all this stuff together, Someone answered, so, someone, but so, uh, uninvited. Hello? Hi, I'm just gonna deliver it for you. Yeah, I'll come down. Can you hear how annoyed I am? Uninvited, who is this? Anyway, it turns out it was a prom, uh, promotional delivery, a smash cake. Stop it, someone brought me a smash cake. So I was pretty thrilled with it. And I went back to gluing and throwing glue on the floor. Almost finished my TikTok bookshelf. I'm so excited. Obviously, I've got one thing I need to do, which is smash a cake. Oh! Oh my god, it's got their product in it. <laughs> oh, this is a bit juicy. Oh! Oh my god, it's full of skincare. What a random. What an unbelievable, oh, that is nice. Oh, um, well, well, there you go. Big shout out to They Skin. Thank you so much for sending me a smash cake for your products. It's a brand new Aussie skincare business that has only just launched, so good luck. And also shout out to the team at Smash A Cake who make this cake. They are an excellent team. I've smashed many a cake from them before. That sounded way more inappropriate than it should have. All right, the very last step was to add some of this waxy, polishy, varnishy thing that I bought from Bunnings. I have no idea what it is. There was so many to choose from. I bought this one because it looked good and it said it, it would give the wood a natural finish, which is what I want. And uh, as I was putting on uh, the polish, I realized I probably shouldn't have used a dirty old sock because some of the dirt was coming off in the polish. But hey, it adds to the character. It makes it look more vintage. to FaceTime in mum and dad to show them. Keep in mind that I'm really useless. Okay. Well, I've known that for a long time. Oh, wow. Nice. Oh, that's really interesting. What is it? It's a bookshelf. Okay. It's not a coffee table. You put all these books into it. So they're all, oh, wow. Why? It's a lot of, it's a lot of time for just six books, mate. I just need your approval, dad. Hey, that's really cool, Christian. Thank you, ma'am. What happens if one of the books is not going to always fit? So it's custom designed for each book. Only my book can go into this slot. So these are the books and this is how they have to live in there. So it's more of a display rather than a bookshelf. Think of it as a sculptural piece. It's uh, very, very nice. Thank you, ma'am. Jesus, that, that, those bits of timber are quite substantial, aren't they? Yeah, and I cut them. Can you hold both hands up for me to look at? What? I want to look at your hands. Okay, that's one hand with five fingers. The other one? Yeah. How did you devise the plan for that bookshelf? What a great question. I came up with it completely on my own just by watching a 15 second video. Oh. 
and that that's and it was it was like a more of a work of art than an actual bookshelf that was the original plan or did you change it well no it's a work of art bookshelf it's both I got you. I got you. Okay. Is there anything else you want to say? Like, well done, great job, congratulations, you're so skilled. I can't believe you did it and you've kept all your fingers. I think it's fantastic. Uh, well done, great job, you're so skilled. I can't believe you've done it. You've done it. And thank God you've still got all your fingers. Thank you, Dad. Mum, um, I really appreciate it. I can always count on support from Mum. I could have shut in a glass and Mum would have loved it. Dad, on the other hand, I could have sawn my fingers off, created a masterpiece, um, developed world peace, and he would still be like, oh, yeah, it's not too bad. I just think that's a lot of work for six books, mate, you know? No, they're permanent. It's an art piece. Thank you, Mum. Mum gets it. That's all that matters. Okay, and we're done.